Hey everyone, so today Lovable just announced a new feature on beta mode called agent mode. And it basically enables Lovable to think, plan, and take actions autonomously. So normally whenever you're building something in Lovable, it doesn't think, it doesn't search the web, it doesn't look for different types of inspirations or sources, it just starts to build based on the prompt that you have. And now this agent mode basically reduces build error rates by 90%, cuts down on unwanted changes and makes Lovable better at helping you reach your goals. That's what Lovable says. And apart from doing like external research, you know, looking for different links, different sources and, and whatnot, it also has the capability to go through your code files, your code base, just like something like Cursor AI does. So it can, it can search your code base to locate specific files, functions, or components that it needs to find and, and edit. You can inspect logs and network activity to identify bugs even without you noticing them. You can search the web in real time to fetch documentation and it can also uh, generate and edit images inside of your app. And that all sounds great, but in today's video what I wanna do is I wanna test out the design capabilities of this agent mode. As you all know, if you watch my other videos, you know that I am you know, kind of picky when it comes to design and AI. I always tend to find a pattern when it comes to AI generated digital products. I can see that they are basically generated in AI or in something like Lovable because they use the same types of colors, the same types of fonts, structure, and so, so on and so forth. Let's just use this agent mode to kind of, you know, use different tools and different sources out there. And together with this agent mode, enhance our design inside of Lovable. And by the way, guys, if you don't know, I also have a Discord community. Um, we are basically different builders, different startup founders, uh, different designers from all around the world. And we get together every single day at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time to midday Eastern time to basically talk about different topics, our struggles and challenges, our successes, or different types of video ideas that I can talk about in the, in the near future. So if you're interested in that, please join my Discord community. Link is down in the description below. Now going inside of Lovable, I already have this beta mode kind of integrated into my Lovable account. I know you can't really see it, but right before I started this video, I had to click on accept or, or you know, try now basically. And it is now connected to my Lovable account. So if I start to write out a prompt, the agent mode will start. So in this case, what I wanna build is, let's say that we are working with a real estate agent and they have a bunch of apartments, but the apartments are empty, right? And the apartments are empty and we want, they, want, they basically want to have something that can populate these empty rooms with furniture, right? They can kind of write down, okay, I want red furniture, Let's, let's put it in here. I want white furniture, let's put it in this room. So we can say, I want to create an app that allows real estate agents to add images of an empty room. Then after the image upload, they can provide a prompt as to what type of furniture should be in painted in this room. Then they can click on generate room and there's an image with the original empty room and the prompted furniture in painted on the room, right? Or on the image, right? And then we can click on submit. And as we click on submit, we already get this little pop-up over here. Agents, agent costs adapt to tax, task complexity, sorry. And as you can see right now, it's thinking. So before Lovable wasn't really thinking before. And now we get this like new thinking module. So it thought for eight seconds. And then it basically provides us with a summary of what it's gonna create with a design approach, which is what we're kind of interested in in this video. And if I click on this read more, I'm just gonna Let's click on this, it opens a new tab, and we get basically this blog post, right? Introducing agent mode, enab enabling Lovable to think, plan, and take actions autonomously, like I said before. Now, at the bottom of this blog post, we have pricing, and we have over here a little table, default chat mode and agent mode. So for default and chat mode, we have one credit, and then for agent mode, we have usage base, and that kind of signals some alarms on my head, um, but as you can see, some, for, for example, a simple M message that reads one file and edits one file will cost 0.8 credits. So some of these uh, messages will not be a full credit. It will be actually less than that. So um, that's actually something, you know, important to keep in mind. But on the other hand, a message that leads to five file reads, four file edits, and one image generation will cost 2.2 credits. So you got to be careful with that. Just keep this in mind that some will be cheaper than one credit. Some will be more expensive.
and we get our design over here. We have basically, if we scroll all the way down, we can see that we have professional design system, real estate blue palette with elegant gradients. Okay, I mean, it looks okay, but again, it still looks like it was generated with lovable, right? We have like, I can't describe it. You can see kind of with the font, um, with the spacing of the font, the font size somehow, these, you know, secondary titles all have like the same type of font size and font family. So it all looks very kind of, you know, created in lovable. And again, just to show you what I mean, this is another type of project that I built with my community in one of these calls. We basically get kind of the same type of font, same type of font size, same type of, you know, white curvy boxes. Another example is this one. This is like a student loan calculator that basically, you know, you have like these different boxes, same type of fonts. Again, you see kind of like these patterns here and there, like I was talking about in the beginning of the video. This is a clear example of that. And this room um, generator basically has this design system that all lovable projects have. So we're going to change that. Now, since lovable has this agent mode and agent mode can also kind of go through different websites. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to generate a design using magic path and basically have a preview link of that design and share it with lovable lovable's agent and see if it can kind of implement that design style. So inside of magic path, we have this design system and we have a bunch of different design system, also custom design systems that I've built. Um, but we have some like, you know, uh, you know, some funky ones. We have some more, uh, you know, nice design. Like this is this one inspired by Airbnb or we have like Claude, for example, but I'm just going to get the, let's say, we, let's get the Airbnb one. And what we're going to do is we're going to double click somewhere over here, kind of zoom in. And let's create some type of design uh, in regards to this project that we were building, like a very similar prompt. So I'm just going to copy this prompt over here, bring that over to Magic Path and paste that over here and select that Airbnb design system. Click on Submit. And while this loads, I can also create another one. So we can just click on the plus sign over here. Let's paste this and let's make it in another type of design system and then do the same thing with out any design system just to see what AI kind of suggests you to create. And by the way, you can also add image references if you have some type of image that you want to, you know, kind of influence this design. And so we get four different designs here. We get this Airbnb one, we get this Twitter one, and we get these two custom ones without any design system. Um, I really like this Airbnb one and the Twitter one somehow. The Twitter one, I kind of like this, you know, simpleness and um, basically this font as well looks pretty cool. But the Airbnb gives me like this, you know, homes, vacation homes vibes. So we can use this one for starters, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically open this in a new tab and we have it over here, open in a new tab and it's kind of mobile only, which is kind of also what I want because, you know, these realtors are going to be taking pictures with their phone and uploading it there in their phone. So I'm just going to design, I'm going to basically copy this URL and I'm going to see if the agent can figure out the whole layout of the structure and the whole design of the structure. I'm going to say make the design structure and context to be exactly like the one here. Let's just send that over here to this chat and let's just close this little pop up that we got and it says I'll fetch the design from that URL to replicate it exactly in your app. So it fetched the design of that URL. Now it says now I'll replace this exact design. It's a clean mobile first interface with a simple header, centered upload area with dash borders, text input and character counter and pink generate room button. All right, it says pink. It doesn't really give the exact um, color code, but let's just see what it basically delivers us and we get what we want. We get this upload room image title. We get this place where we can actually upload the image and we get this area where we can describe the furniture furniture to add. Perfect. So in terms of design that actually pre went pretty well. Now what we can also do here is we can ask the agent, the lovable agent to research different types of designs out there and kind of implement a custom design based on those you know, other types of image uploaders that they might find. So we can say research three similar apps to this one and create a design based on those examples. Now you can see it's search searching for three different things, AI room staging apps, 
virtual staging apps, furniture, room visualizer apps, AI furniture, staging, whatever, whatever. And it says, now let me fetch detailed screenshots and designs from the top three apps I found. Virtual staging AI, reimagining home and interior AI to understand their UI patterns. Now I'll save this research to memory and create a new design based on the common patterns I found across these three leading apps. And as you can see, it does give us a better design. We have kind of like this blue color. It does give us a better design in comparison to the first design it gave us. But as you can see, it still kind of looks like it was generated in Lovable. We get the same types of icons, the same types of color styles, like this little shade of color and the dark icon. It just screams out Lovable design to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna revert back to this uh, magic path design that I have. And I just like it more because it is just more unique, right? You can actually, inside of Magic Path, create a branded design for your app. And now to finish off this app, right? We, we're, let's say that we're satisfied with the design. Let's finish it off by actually, you know, asking the agent to basically integrate this specific API, introducing Flux.1 context. And just to give you some context on this Flux.1 context, um, we can add an image reference here on in the playground. Let's just upload this. And then we can type add red furniture everywhere. Click on generate. And then it basically uses that same image. We can see over here, it's the same image, right? If I were to zoom in, you can kind of see same kind of uh, window over here. It didn't even touch it. It just applies the red furniture. So we can copy this blog post that talks about Flux.1 context from run, Runware and give it to this agent. So I'm gonna say, let's let's use this API to actually get the app working where users can import an image and in-paint in paint things inside the image. Let's just click on enter. So now what we get is we get this where we can enter our API key. Let me just refresh this. Yeah, so now we get this where we can basically enter our API key. I'm gonna just click this, paste that in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna you know, add that image that I had before, click on generate room, and we get uh, this room with a sofa, but it's not really that room, I guess. I guess it used another similar type of room, but you know, that's something to kind of test uh, or use uh, the, the agent to kind of understand this flux context and get it actually working. Actually, a good way of doing it is that over here, you can kind of find the image in inference, that's what it's called. So we want to, you know, we want to give that to Lovable. We want to tell it that it wants to do, that it has to do image inference. And then over here we have the JSON, which we can give it as well. And we can say, you know, this is the JSON that Runware uses in their playground. So let's go ahead and submit that. Now for the moment, the moment of truth, we are using Flux Context Pro and we can upload an image of a room like this. Let's say, let's add a wooden sofa, right? Let's add a wooden sofa. Click on generate room and it takes a while to generate a couple seconds. And basically we get a wooden sofa. I mean, it looks pretty, it doesn't, it looks more leather, but I mean, I understand there's no wooden sofas really, I think out there. So at, at least the, 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 the legs are wooden, but basically we're getting the same image output over here or at least very similar, which is, which is, which works, right? But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial today where we basically saw the lovable agent and we created a custom design for our lovable agent using magic path. And then we basically created our own little app using a runware API, which worked like a charm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel because I'm basically posting videos every single day. Um, you know, about these different types of topics. And if you want me to talk about some type of specific topic or tool, please let me know down in the comments or join my Discord and reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.